Hi everyone, welcome back to B17 the Mighty Eighth. Here we are with the crew of C Cup. Of course, we are confusingly flying Bomb Boogie 2, which has the nose art of Varga Venus. Stick with it. This is originally we went out, those who just uh, have a quick recap for those who haven't seen the back history of this. Uh, C Cup was the original bomber that this crew was um, part of. They completed, I think, um, so this is mission 16, so they must have completed 13 missions, and on the 13th mission, we lost C-Cup, the bomber. Yes, we had to abandon uh, the aircraft due to a lot of damage to the engines and uh, leaking fuel tanks, which meant we weren't going to make it over the channel back to Blighty, so the crew were able to bail out over the North Sea. Sadly, we lost our bombardier. He died in the uh, the bailout. Uh, but the rest of the crew survived, and they've been reassigned a new aircraft called Bomb Boogie 2. They have completed two missions and shot down 14 aircraft in um, Bomb Boogie 2. Uh, she has the nose art of uh, Varga Venus due to, uh, well, it being a 20 plus year old game, and um, once the, the new bombers recycle with, with random names and random nose art, you know, they very, very rarely match after the first attempt. So, uh, we've completed in total 15 missions. Uh, so this is going to be mission number 16 for the crew. Of those who don't know, 25 missions will allow us to complete our tour of duty and head back to the States to sell war bonds or train other um, flight crews, that kind of thing. But the war will be over us for, for us if we can get to 25 completed missions. So number 16 today, let's head into the briefing room, find out where today's target will be. Right then. So the 15th of June 1944, a couple of weeks, well, just 10 days after um, D-Day almost. Um, the primary target today is the St. Sun Low Troop Concentration. Secondary target is the Sherbourg Harbour and the Sherberg Air Base will be the tertiary target. For this we'll be carrying 8x 500 pound anti-personnel clusters and 8x 250 pound general purpose. The distance to fire off this target is 596 miles, so it's quite a short one in comparison to where we've been flying recently. Uh, two squadrons of P-51s as escort. Um, the St. Lo troop concentration has a flak strength of low, fighter strength of low, priority is high and damage none. Our troops are driving hard on the French town of St. Lowe and the Germans are dug in hard defending. The general needs somebody to go and help the, do uh, the, the doughboys out and your outfit fits the bill. You need to make sure that you drop that wouldn't smack on the jerrys because our guys are dug in nearby waiting to attack. Oh yeah, no pressure. Okay, this is where we can't spot them at all. The secondary target is Sherbourg Harbour. Flak and fighter strength is moderate, priority is high, and no damage to the harbour. And the air base flak is moderate, low fighter, is it a bomber base then? Um, priority is low, damage low, so it's just a, a target if we can't get the other two. Um, Luftwaffe facility in this area, therefore worthy of attention. Intelligence doesn't indicate anything specially important. Blah 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 blah. Okay, just, just do some damage basically. Let's have a look at the reconnaissance film then and see if we can pick out these uh, these Jerry troops. Right. Um, so we've got crossroads here. Is this low, I take it? Town here? Now, do you, is, it, is this what we're looking for? The corner of this wood? There is something there. Oh yes, look, there, there they are, there they are. So it's between those two woods in that square field. Okay. Okay. It's not much to go on. It's going to be very difficult to spot. Let's have a quick look at the route. Okay, so we'll be flying southwest to begin with. And we will be doing our run... Uh, where is it? Here, St. Low Troop Concentration. Okay, that is a really random flight path. Coming all the way out there, then yeah, we'll sort that out. Um, so we've got the invasion from D-Day has uh, secured Bordeaux and the coastal area here, as you can see. 
Um, Khan will take a while to fall to Allied troops. But yeah, they're pushing on to St. Lowe, so we've got troops moving this way. And we need to hit their troops there. If the weather is not good then, then we move on to the secondary tertiary up at Cherbourg. Okay. Nay problemo. Right, I will, once we're up in the air, I will sort this mess out. Look at it. It's awful. The heck is that? I have no idea. We'd better, we'd be better cutting down here and then running like that over friendly territory and in. Yeah, okay. We'll get the rest of the crew, let them know where we're going and uh, we'll warm up the aircraft. So here she is then, Varga Venus, aka Bomb Boogie 2 with the crew of C Cup inside. Two missions completed on this bomber as a 15 in total and the 14 aircraft shot down. Um, Right, we'll let them go through the sequences, get the engines on, warmed up, and taxi to the runway. Okay, welcome back. We are 8.42 in the morning, coming up to 15,000 feet, which is going to be our bombing altitude, because we need to get low level for precision, they say, to get the, uh, the concentration of troops. 150 miles an hour, heading 196. Navigator, that is the English coast down there. Indeed it is. Bye bye England. Across the channel, there is the uh, Normandy. And where we'll be heading now. Um, on our starboard side the ever-present killing time 15 missions complete five aircraft kills fantastic to have them along with us once again and on our port side laden maiden not the rookies anymore two missions complete and three aircraft kills fantastic quite a strong team to begin with and uh, yes I've also changed the the um, the routes we're going to do beeline straight down there then we'll do a sharp turn and head in for well hopefully the weather's gonna be okay and we can bomb the troop concentration if not we'll head off to Cherbourg so far the cloud does look a little bit patchy I'm not gonna lie but hopefully it clears up a little bit further on we go okay we're nearing the enemy coast now and um, we're halfway across the channel basically uh, the little friends haven't quite caught up to us now, but we're probably in range of the enemy fighters, the look of our fighters. So, yeah, um, just trying to see if anything's coming out towards us. It's very difficult to see. Oh, hello. We do have, can you just see it? A couple of specks up there. Could potentially be aircraft. It's definitely something that's got to be enemy aircraft. Now lost him. There we oh, there they are. I see him. Good hits on that one. Oh no! 
No! Where's Laden Maiden gone? Two, three, four, five. There goes Laden Maiden. One, two, three, four. Oh, counted five parachutes. Oh, and there she goes into the water. Damn it. FW190s, anyway. Um, I think we managed to get one from the uh, the chin turret. And I think that's the one that slammed into Laden Maiden. Also got a smoking engine down there on what looks to be a lot of stern. That was another smoky engine, but I think they managed to uh, grab that one. I'm going to risk firing past the other aircraft. Coming for us. Getting good hits on him. Oh, I got him. Beautiful. Get him? Or is that the one the previous one? I don't know. He looks like he could be in a death death dive. Possibly. Oh no! Killing time's got a smoky engine. He's going away, he's going away. Just having a quick look at uh, killing time. You can see just behind the nose art. There's a lot of um, shot has just gone in there. Next to the navigator, just below the uh, pilot's position. I uh, still think that we've got one FW-190 out here somewhere. Probably setting up for an attack run. Can't see him. Oh, ho, 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 ho. beautiful! Where is he? There he is. One. Oh, we got another flight coming in. One o nines. Moving at pace as well. Crikey! At closing pace. We got a smoky engine. Oh, engine four's dead, or soon to be dead. Oh, look at the bombers down there. They got another one. Like, that's not going to go for much longer. Well, oh, I think that was it. Was that it packing up? Yes, it was. Engine four's packed up. Let's feather engine four then. This is a far more experienced um, fighter squadron. They're attacking from uh, in front, they're attacking from above and diving down and sweeping up all over the place, making it uh, very difficult for us to get a bead on them. Whereas the 190s, they came out as quite quite lazily, so you could have a, 
fucking shot. I can't. I don't seem to be able to get the. Oh, God. The guns to them. Alright, hopping Matt on the rear turret. Desperate times means we need Wilson at his best. You see him? No, they're behind the pillar, that's why. Oh, somebody's got a good hit on him. Good hits. We still see England, we're being pummeled here, come on. Where are these little friends? Got a bit of hit. Got a bit of him. See him smoking. He's going for that bomber with a stricken engine. I think that might all be dead. Lord, there goes a bomber. Oh no. No, it's killing time! No! Killing time, no! Oh, I hope they can make it back to base. We've got no wingmen now. I can see traces zipping by, I can't see anything. Right? Oh, that's a that's a P fifty one. Oh, thank goodness! Thank goodness my aim was off. Thank goodness they're here. Hello, little friends. Got some hits in him. Ah, didn't have time to react to that one. Little friend's just gone down after him. Alright, come on, I haven't even crossed the channel yet. Bloody hell. There'll be loads of ships on this water going between England and uh, Normandy. We have resupplies and extra troops and equipment and all sorts. That's the French coast down there. Still some way off it. I feel a little bit more confident now that the little friends are here. It's always the little ones you think. Well, that should be a relatively straightforward mission. They turn to be an absolute nightmare. Okay, Carl Roberts has been injured. Um, used to have. Has just um, hopped on there. John Sullican is our radio operator. You head back to the, the radio, John, because um, we can't be too far away from uh, from the decision point. So straight over for the weather forecasts. Oh, rubbish. Weather at secondary target is believed to be fair. So that's a lot better. Cloud at approximately 8,000 feet. Weather at tertiary target is believed to be fair. So they're okay. Primary looking a little bit worse for wear. He's okay. Uh, let's go back to the navigator. Right. Um, we're here. What we could do... We're going to go for the primary. See if we can do it. If not, we'll switch to the secondary. And see if we can fudge it so we can go straight up there. Right. 
moving one station forward to the bombardier section in the nose it's going to be under one of those clunks of cloud isn't it remember it was between the two little woodlands little cops um, if we are going to drop we will have to drop the uh, release down quite considerably there's lots of woodlands down there can't see anything yet it's going to be right under that cloud isn't it quite a ways away for the moment so we'll, we'll just come a little bit closer see if we can get a better view of what's going on okay we're coming through uh, or staring through the clouds now lots of little woodlands but there's a woodland there there is a woodland there and they seem to have picked a spot here now this could be it um, I'm hoping we will get a little bit of clear air where we can have a look down and I think he's on it though you know I think if I um, hang on there we go yeah that's the little square field isn't it with a little brown bit in it so I think he was on it so hang on I was probably wrong to move it but let's just lock that in so if we can hold this now uh, there should be some anti-aircraft fire around here so as if by magic here it comes and it got our level see the engine out we are slewing a little bit aren't we there's nothing we can do except fly straight and level should be clearing this cloud shortly which should give us ample time to do any uh, changes that we require. Yeah, we have drifted. We want to be right in there. It's drifting a lot. Hang on, I know the aircraft was damaged. There we go. Got something in this woodland here as well, that. But if we just... Ooh, why, why are we... Are we damaged? Why are we suddenly shearing off to the... To the left? And to the right? Hold it steady. Here it is. Oh, look at the tanks. Um, right, so I'm not sure how this is going to go. Our aircraft, I think, may have been hit by some flak because that was going from left to right to left to right. It was in some bad way. But yeah, we got some tanks down here, half tracks, anti F car. Oh, yes. Well, we were actually not quite on, were we? Ours dropped here. Not have done some damage. Not brilliant, but um, let's go and see what's wrong with the aircraft. Okay, we seem to be relatively intact. Um, yeah, we probably want to get out of this. This anti-aircraft fire is nasty. It's got us right on the level. Let's get below this if we can.
Okay, we've managed to get ourselves out of occupied France. Oh my goodness me, what are we doing? Uh, it's 9.48 now, back at 15,000 feet. As we've made the turn north, heading back across the channel. Oh, and uh, mercifully, we can obviously see there's the Isle of Wight there, English coast here. Uh, where our base probably lies, just about 40 minutes flight now on three engines. Hopefully we just nurse the rest of these bombers back and uh, hopefully not expecting any further opposition from the Luftwaffe. We're kind of just coming out of their range now. Um, so we should be good just to try and nurse these aircraft home. Okay, let's see if we can go in. It looks like the oh, gear is land coming down okay for landing. Make sure there's no aircraft cut across our path, that's good. Flaps down and we'll set up for an approach. Oh! Just as we're coming into landing, we've got engine three failing, which is not ideal. It's all right, we should have the pace just to bring her down. Oh, an engine failure on landing, that's not good. I'm just gonna put her on the field. That is less than ideal. Oh. <sighs> I don't need an engine failure on a final. Goodness me. Oh, that was a heart stopping moment. But there we go. We're down with two engines. Holy moly, right, um, I'm just going to not finish shower the runway, I'm going to abandon her here, we have to taxi her back with the, uh, the tractor, let's um, head to debriefing, my goodness me. With a large sigh of relief, we got the boys home, oh my goodness me, that, why is it the short so-called milk runs are always the worst missions ever we lose bombers we lose almost lose our bomber and oh it's just horrendous anyway let's have a read of this not pretty reading i'm sure 15th of june 1944 st low troop concentration was attacked distance flown 519 miles we lost two bombers so that'd be a lot of stern and um or was it mate Laden Maiden and uh, Killing Time, I think. Enemy fighters shot down, six. Bomb damage estimate, low. Kind of expecting that, to be honest. Um, so, six aircraft kills. As I say, Staff Sergeant Roberts got a light wound. He's our bull turret gunner. There is the damage. So that's where we did our short drop. Um, and then some others just run on. So, no promotions, uh, medals awarded, Staff Sergeant Roberts, our bull turret gunner, distinguished service cross, and he was also wounded. He must already had a purple heart, or well, sometimes you used to get multiple purple hearts. Uh, missing crews accounted for, stormy weather, crashed in friendly territory, sadly all aboard were lost. The Memphis Bell, crashed in friendly territory. Again, all aboard were lost. So these two bombers... I reckon that that was probably Killing Time and um, Lady Maiden, I think. Um, they've obviously managed to get the bombers back over friendly territory and then and then crashed. And No, actually, we saw one of them go into the water, didn't we? So friendly territory must be the English Channel now that we've captured D-Day, we've captured the beachhead. Yeah, the English Channel is uh, for allied to territory, so it's friendly territory. So they may have gone down into the drink, both of them. It's a sad day 
two great crews and our wingmen as well. Heading into the commander's office. Three missions complete. 19 kills. My goodness me. So it's a good good day for aircraft kills today. We got five of the six then. If I, quick maths. Um, so here we go. Mission three. Sent low troop concentration. Fighters shot down. Five. Anderson, our ball turret gunner, got two 190s. Shu, our top turret gunner and engineer, got a 190. Uh, Roberts, who is our bombardier. So I did definitely get that one with the, the 190 with the bombardier's gun. Fantastic. And Star Sergeant Wilson, our tail gunner, got a BF 109. Light wound to Roberts. Aircraft is mechanically A status despite an engine failure and a burnt out engine on, <laughs> on, the, on the starboard wing. But apart from that, she's fine. Um, here she is then. I haven't painted on the extra kills or the um, the extra mission bomb. But there she is. Got damage. Damage here. Looks at some 50 cal shell. It's not 50 cal, sorry. Some 20mm cannon shell gone into the uh, engine there. You can see the flames. You can see how it's burnt the, the tail as well as the flames were licking back in the oil. Uh, this engine obviously needs some repairs as well. Holes in the tail. Big chunks in the tail actually. Uh, some it, around the bomb, bomb bay and the uh, radio operators uh, station also took some damage. And there's a bit of damage around the uh, the nose section as well as there always is, but largely okay. So have a quick look at the crew file. Oh no, our bombardier is Alan Anderson, Mr. Anderson. Um, bomb boogie he's got excellent bomb aiming that was his third mission uh, complete so he didn't get that aircraft kill after all Robert Culver our navigator good navigation uh, below average most other things apart from first aid uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so that was his 12th mission complete going great guns Marty Copeland our pilot and captain good piloting skills below average gunnery average technical uh, our co-pilot Martin Roth uh, excellent piloting um, poor bomb aiming uh, below average navigation first aid um, Peter Shu, our top turret gunner he has completed every mission without fail bagged himself a fighter today excellent gunnery skills above average first aid uh, he's got a soldier's medal a bronze star a silver star and a bronze star again uh, first Mission flown was the hide oil production facility back on the 1st of May. And then he's got um, 15 more completed, ending with today's 15th of June, the St. Low Troop concentration. Our radio operator, John F. Sullican. He's got average gunnery, um, average first aid and technical. He is a replacement, and I think that was his third mission. It was his third mission, so he's got plenty more to go and maybe we'll get our original radio operator Xavier back very soon. Roberts, our ball turret gunner, despite taking a couple of kills today he's been injured and a light wound I think it was so he is currently in the first aid hospital uh, and we'll get a replacement ball turret gunner. Left right waist, a Robert Berger, uh, excellent gunnery, below average um, what was that? Below average technical. Uh, he's got a purple heart. He's got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten mission. That was his tenth mission. So he's still, still got 15 to go. Right waist, we've got Eustace Howe. Um, excellent gunnery. I think he's been injured as well. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. He's missed one mission. So he's got 15 missions. Um, credit. And then we got Harold Schumacher. Harold Schumacher has rejoined on the tail gun. Where did Wilson go? Uh, Schumacher's a fantastic gunner anyway. Medal of Honor, Distinguished Service Cross, Soldier's Medal, Purple Heart, Distinguished Service, Legion of Merit, as you can see. One, two, three, four, five. Oops, hang on. 
Uh, five missions complete. Right, so where... I don't think Wilson's gone to the medical wing, so he must have just been replaced for some bizarre reason. We must have had him returning to the aircraft and he's just replaced Tony. Was it Tony Wilson? I think it was. So Xavier Scott, our um, original radio operator, um, he's flown a few missions with us, as you can see. Uh, he's expected to discharge in five days' time. He's returning to the aircraft. Okay, Carl Roberts, there's our ball turret gunner, injured today. Um, see, me awarded medals as well. Medal of Honor, Purple Heart, Soldier's Medal, Distinguished Service Cross. Multiple missions to his name as well. He's been a steadfast. He is due out on the 20th as well. Fantastic. Um, right, there we are. 16 missions complete. Oh. <laughs> Nine to go. Oh, that was a tough one. And we potentially lost well, our two favourite uh, crews as well. Killing Time and um, Laden Maiden, our two wingmen. Uh, so that's going to be tough. We're going to have to have um, probably two rookie crews on our wings defending us next time, which is going to be an extra challenge and uh, something else which we're not going to look forward to. But for now, we're going to leave it there. Um, be thankful we managed to get her home. And, uh, and especially at the last minute with the engine failure, I'm doubly thankful, to be honest. That could have gone south pretty damn quick, but we made it. We made it to fight another day, and that's what we'll do next time. Thanks ever so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.